Hey folks. So, the way people think about socialism and capitalism, you'll get a lot of people who say, you know, socialism just doesn't work. The socialist governments uh, around the world, they've never built anything. They never got anything done. They just made people poorer. Uh, the, the, every, the government just kept everyone poor and made everything, tried to make it equal, but everyone was just poor and nothing got built, nothing got constructed. I'm going to go over a few of the things that were constructed by socialist, anti-imperialist, Marxist governments around the world. Let's start. 1927 to 1932, the Soviet Union built what was at that time the world's largest hydroelectrical power plant, the Dnieper Dam. It was completed in 1932 in the Dnieper River in Ukraine, um, and at that point it was the world's largest hydroelectrical power plant. People from all over the world marveled at what the Soviet Union had built, this huge hydroelectrical facility uh, in Ukraine that was built, and at that point it was the world's largest hydroelectrical power plant. However, today, the world's largest hydroelectrical power plant is in China. It's the Three Gorges Dam, also built by socialism, by state-controlled corporations being directed by the Chinese Communist Party. As part of their five-year plans, the Chinese government, the state-controlled apparatus within China, built what is today the largest hydroelectrical power plant in the world, the Three Gorges Dam. So, you know, the, the largest hydroelectrical power plant in the world back in the 1930s was built by socialism. Today, the world's largest hydroelectrical power plant has been built by socialism. And while we're talking about hydroelectrical power plants, there's a huge hydroelectrical power plant in Egypt, the Aswan Dam. And who built it? Well, it was built by Abdel Nasser, the Arab socialist leader who came into power after the 1952 revolution. And he built it in coordination with the Soviet Union. The Aswan Dam is so big, this hydroelectrical power plant that was built in Egypt, it's so big it can actually be seen from outer space. Nikita Khrushchev called it, he actually referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world, right? Socialism doesn't build anything, right? It built, built huge hydroelectrical facilities that people all over the world marveled at. Uh, it doesn't build anything, huh? And while we're talking about water and we're on the African continent talking about Egypt, let's talk about Libya. In Libya, Muammar Gaddafi, the Islamic socialist leader, uh, you know, he called his system the Islamic socialist, uh, the Islamic socialist Jamaria, uh, kind of an, a combination of Islamic principles as well as like socialism and Marxism aligned with the Soviet Union. Muammar Gaddafi built what was called uh, the Great Man-Made River, and it's actually the largest irrigation system in the entire world. The largest irrigation system in the world was built by Gaddafi, and the Islamic socialist leader of Libya. It was so big, uh, it brought running water to huge parts of the country, greatly expanded Libya's ability to grow food and have agriculture, and it was actually destroyed. Large parts of it were destroyed uh, during the 2011 revolution, in which the USA and NATO countries bombed and destroyed Libya and were funding extremists and terrorists against the Gaddafi government. So also socialism built the world's largest irrigation system. Um, but while we're at it, uh, let's talk about some other things that socialism has built, right? Um, for example, in addition to that, you've got what was built in 1966, the China-Pakistan Friendship Highway. 1966, when Mao Zedong was leading China, the height of the Cultural Revolution, China and Pakistan began the construction of a highway connecting the two countries. And this highway, the China-Pakistan Friendship Highway, is actually the most elevated highway in the world. People from around the world go and look at this highway, and it's used very frequently because it was built under such difficult conditions. It's elevated, it goes through mountainous territory, um, and it's been greatly expanded. It started during the Mao era, but it's been greatly expanded, and now it's a big part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. This huge highway, built under really difficult conditions, with Mao Zedong and the Chinese Communist government aligned with the Pakistan government, built this huge, huge highway that was very, very difficult to build, right? So, you know, there's another example of socialism building some things, right? Um, also, you know, high-speed railway, right? A much more efficient way of traveling. High-speed railway, um, you know, it's much more efficient. It doesn't use fossil fuels. It's electrical in most cases. Um, very efficient. China has more high-speed railway than the rest of the world combined. And all over the world, in addition to the huge amount of high-speed railway that exists in China, built by state-controlled corporations as part of their five-year plans and you know, overseen by the Communist Party, 
the Chinese railway corporations are actually building high-speed railway in other countries right now. That's one of the main things that China's doing. In developing countries around the world, they're building high-speed railway systems in Africa, um, you know, in Indonesia, different places. China is constructing high-speed railway. So again, you know, uh, you know, socialism doesn't build anything. Well, actually, you know, China, a socialist country, and its state-controlled corporations have built more high-speed railway than the rest of the world combined. And while we're at it, you know, let's, let's talk about another thing that, that people often forget that was built and created by socialism. Space travel. Space travel, right? What was the first country in outer space? The Soviet Union. They launched Sputnik. What was the first person in outer space? Yuri Gagarin, right? A, a Russian, a, a cosmonaut sent into outer space. So this idea that socialism doesn't build anything, right? It's just such an inefficient system. People just become lazy and they, they don't get anything done. Uh, look at the Dnieper Dam. Look at the Three Gorges Dam, you know, look at the Aswan Dam in Egypt, look at the great man-made river in Libya, uh, look at the high-speed railways that China has built, uh, look, look at the, uh, the China-Pakistan Friendship Highway, look at space travel. Socialism has built an awful lot of things around the world. This notion that socialism failed, it's never produced anything, it's just failed everywhere it's ever been tried, is complete baloney and malarkey, right? Socialism has built an awful lot of very efficient and very important infrastructure around the world.